Hey, it's James from Lazy Palm Farm Fish and Hunt. We're back at it again here, cleaning the mess of catfish. But today, you know, we uh, took you through all the cleaning on how to clean, you know, small catfish. Everybody wants to see some large catfish clean, right? So instead of showing you how to clean a big blue catfish, right? We're gonna show you today on how to clean a big old, a big flathead. We're gonna show you how to clean a big flathead today and uh, what you need to know about taking the belly meat off because they have more belly meat than they do actually side fillet. And we're gonna show you also how to take out them big cheek meat. So stay tuned and we'll be bringing it to you. So they lay a little flatter, they got a wider head, so they got more meat in the cheeks and their cuts are gonna be a little different. They're a little bit more narrow in the fillets and got a lot more belly meat. So, all right, what I'm gonna do here is pretty much, which we'll just go ahead, I'm not gonna go ahead and skin this fish. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fillet them off. All right, then we'll skin them afterwards with the knife. But my cuts are gonna start right down the center of this guy's head. All right, when you got from eye to eye, right? Just run it over eye to eye. You kind of just give me your idea for this cheek meat right here. All right, I'm gonna bring it back just like so. So now we just did a grid here. We got squares, cheek meat from eye to eye to the end where the gill plates are. All right, what I'm gonna do here now is so I'm going to come in on this square, following that line. You can see where I'm following this line. I'm running right down on his head, down towards his eyes. You can kind of see this cheek moving on to start coming out. You just got to take your time while you're working through this, folks, because it, it, it dives in. I know it's kind of hard to see what I'm doing. Oh, that was a bone. Coming right down into his eyeball. Right down through his eyeball. And a lot of people leave this. You can start seeing this now. Flathead meat's a little different also. It's a little different than blues. It's more of a pork chop look. Color to it. But there's one cheek meat coming out of his head. And we're gonna come over here and replicate the same thing the best we can. You lose a little bit of meat, that's okay. Hold on here, let me get him back up on this rag here. Kind of sliding table. We're just gonna work his cheek meat down. Right through his eyeball. I can feel the nerves jumping in this fish. Good fresh fish. Okay. Keep going on down. Let me go there. Got two cheek meats. What we do is later on is what we're gonna do is we'll actually come back and I'll take this knife right in here like this. And we're gonna flip it. See his eye right there? <laughs> Don't lose him. And we'll just trim this up later, but of course you'll take the eye out. Nobody wants to eat an eye. There's a bone right there. And then that's what you got. All right, but I'll do that later. I just wanna show you kind of what goes on there. All right, now we're gonna take these fillets off this flathead here and I'm gonna go work from the top down because how the ribs are. All right, so of course you have a petrol fin. You can feel that little bump and bowl. We're looking for the side of his spinal cord. Okay, so coming down to the top of his ribs. Now I got a collar right here. We're gonna take him down from the top. So, take him right down from the top. Open them right on up here. Then we're gonna come back down. This is about the best way I found. You'll find the spinal cord on both sides because of how these ribs are. But if you just watch, can you see that there good? If you just watch, I'm coming right down, I'm scrubbing right down beside the spinal cord. You ain't gotta be rushed at this. You can see it there. See how I'm coming right down it, right down the side of the spinal cord here? All right, we're gonna run the rest of the way down. Okay, we're gonna run it right on down here. Real shallow like, I'm gonna just open it up for you. So you see what I'm doing here? All right, I'm gonna bring it right on up here. Now I'm gonna bring this down, down the rib, down the side here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flex this knife. I'm gonna start curling it off the top of his rib. And you can see me curling it off the top of his rib. And you'll see why, because the anatomy of a flathead is way different. I'm bringing it, you see how these ribs 
are swooping out. Like my fingers, they're swooping out. They're not curving. So, bringing it right down the side, keeping this knife as flat as I can down these ribs. Just like that right there. Do you see what I, I did there? It's a little bit lively here, huh? So now we're gonna come right down to the edges, his ribs. All right, at this point here, we're gonna come back and I'm gonna finish running right down his fillet. We're gonna curve this down and out. Don't worry about that tail meat on the end there. All right, and then we're gonna run it off the tail. Right there. This knife's kind of sharp, so I'm actually skinning them, pre skinning them, but nevertheless, so. There's a fillet. You can see the shape, how those ribs are. And that's good fresh catfish, got them nerves kicking. So now we're going to repeat on the other side. All right. Use this rag, kind of keep it from sliding around on the table. Once again, come right down the side of the spinal cord. Of course, you got to cut it from the collar, right? Dig right down in there, cut it from his collar. And we're going to continue. It's a little bump around the edge of his fin here. All right. Once again, we're here. It's a little tricky for folks. So what I'm going to do is you can see where this is, the spinal cord now, because you done took off one side. So I'm kind of running this. Right down side the spinal cord here. That's why you want a good sharp knife. Running right beside it. Right? And we're just going to keep it as flat as we can against this. As flat as we can against the spinal cord. It'll fall away as you see here. See how it's falling away? Keeping it right nice and tight to it. You can dive your knife through on this side. Not through the tail. Oh, there you go. You can dive your knife through right here like that and run it flat as you normally would. Coming right up it. Coming back to the ribs. So now when we come back to the ribs. I'm going to curve this knife with this, this spine. Coming off the ribs now. You can see it, I'm applying pressure. I'm pulling that way, away from me. Coming right off them ribs. Nice and flat. Like I said, flatheads have very unique ribs. And you see how the ribs wanna peel down towards the fillet. So now, we're gonna separate these bones right up the runner tail. Right there, come right down beside it, and you'll find it because just a little bit of bone right there. Boom! You can see they're also darker meat. So, what we just did was we removed the fillets off of this catfish, where the most amount of meat on a flathead is, is that belly meat, which we're getting ready to get to. But once again, flathead's ribs run straight out, okay, they do not curve at all they run straight out not curved all right now that we got that off we're gonna take this flathead now we're gonna flip him over and of course everybody knows you know that's the collar of the fish when you spread the gill plates you can see the collar of this fish okay we're gonna go right above the collar all right we're gonna circle all the way around this collar just like so okay now you need to be careful, which I'm going to show you once again. When you start to dive in straight down, you need to be careful because the gallbladder and the liver are sitting right here. You can see the gallbladder. You cut that gallbladder, it'll taint the meat. So be careful what you do there when you cut into it. We're going to continue our cut down. Okay? On this side here, right behind the fin, continue our cut down. Mining, you don't cut the gallbladder. Here we go. I'm going to roll him over to the side now. We're going to finish, finish our cut coming around here. All right. This point here, 
this point here, when you get it loose all the way around the side of his head, I come back in here, right up next to the ribs. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull towards ourselves now. We gotta pull towards yourself. On the bottom of the ribs. That's got ribs right between it. So you pull towards yourself, okay? Opposite side here, and they also store a lot of fat. Opposite side here. What we do is we come back over here now. We're gonna separate that. Now I'm gonna cutting up towards myself, following the bottom side of the ribs. Bottom side of the ribs. We're gonna continue following the bottom side of the ribs. So we get down to the vent, the vent of the catfish and his anal fins. We're gonna swoop up. Now if you look, look how much of meat's on the bottom of a flathead stomach versus a fillet. So you get a good look at the fillet versus the bottom of the meat on a catfish's stomach on a flathead. It yields more weight in his stomach than he does on his fillets. But that's a pretty straightforward on how I clean flatheads and the best way to clean flatheads. And now of course, the skin side. We'll come back and run it off like any other fish. Okay, so I'll show you how kind of we kind of do that. So we're gonna sit this guy off to the side here for a minute. Of course, you can take the bones and the rest of the collar meat, which is the collar itself, and you can go ahead and do a catfish stew. You cut that collar out and take the bone meat, get the rest of that meat off of there, which we'll come back later and dress that up. All right, so you got two ways about this here. Let me get a quick little rinse. Catfish, I noticed, is uh, they got a lot of slime. So the more slime you can keep down, it's really slick to work with. As you see here on this table, I'll kind of bring these guys back, rinse the jelly off, rinse the table off. Okay. Let's see here. Which one we're gonna start with first? We'll do a fillet. Now, you can fillet this off. You can fillet the skin off all the way whole. But what we're gonna do is for all purposes, cause we're gonna fry them, I'm just gonna cut it down the middle and run one side off and then run the other side off. So I'm gonna come down, right down the middle of this fish. And we're just gonna run it off. You know, you try to keep as much, you know, much meat as you can down to the skin side. It doesn't have to get too crazy, but we're gonna cut this up for nuggets anyways. If you look, and the reason why I left a little bit there, I took a little bit of meat off. If you look right here, on the tip of my knife, you can see fat. When you fry catfish fat, put it in there, so oily you don't like it. You see why I left some meat down? Look at this on the tip of my knife. You see all that yellow and that red? That's real oily, real fishy. Nobody likes eating that. So you wanna leave just a little bit. These fish hairy a lot of a lot of fat they're storing up for the winter okay just run it down and we'll go ahead and slide that right on through there just trim that off the best we can this is kind of trimming you still can cut out that red but as you see why i left a lot there it takes the red off a little bit of white you don't lose much but look at all the heavy fat through there that's what you don't want really cool colored fish man all right, so now what I'm gonna do is show you fillets on the belly and how I do bellies. So, of course, you know, you have a stomach liner. This is uh, membranes that separate the actual guts from the actual touching of the meat. So you don't want that on there. So what we're gonna do is show you how we remove this. We're gonna stick a knife up underneath it real shallow. This one, you want a good thin knife and you wanna take your time at it. And we're gonna stick it in there and angle up real lightly and we're just gonna scrub you see there and now I'm gonna flip it over and angle up towards myself and pull this is called trimming we're gonna get rid of that stuff we're gonna continue this till we clean it off it just takes a little time and a little practice okay there's a little bit of meat there it's not gonna hurt you 
You leave a little bit on, it ain't gonna hurt you. It's up to your preference. But we're gonna get the best we can off of this fish. Okay? So basically we're just trimming. That's what you have to do with big catfish. You just not cut the meat off and go. You gotta trim them. If you don't trim them, it ain't gonna taste right. Okay? Do the other side here. Kind of move through this here. I was kind of spinning with you guys a lot. I apologize. Just got to work the different angles. Okay. Take that stuff off. You can see that on the opposite side of my arm. Okay. Keep working it. Well, stick it through. Got to move with the meat. Come down here. And we'll get the rest of that trimmed. This has got a bone in it. That's where the anal fins are. So I'm not too worried about that close. We're going to cut that away in a minute. We'll get the rest of this on a later trim. Okay. All right. What we're going to do here now is it's got two center lines, both sides of the bellies. Angel wings, right? Right down the center line. You can see the bottom of the skin from the belly meat. What we're going to do is we're going to lightly score this. You can see the skin on both sides. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna come in on one side, we're gonna work one side away. We're just gonna take it as close as we can to the skin and swoop. Okay? We're gonna swoop. Might have to come back and trim up the top side a little bit. This is what happens when you, okay, this is a sharp knife. I'm cutting the rag a little bit here, excuse me. I like a good sharp knife, it makes cleaning so much easier. Okay? Flip the belly meat over, of course. It lets a couple pieces of skin. Get the pieces of skin off here. Really close. There's a little bit of a rag, so we're gonna rinse it off a little bit. That's your catfish belly versus your filet. There it is, trimmed up. Of course, now what we'll do is Move this rag out of the way. Get this other side here. Coming underneath this bone, this anal bone. You can hear me working that knife going across the belly. I'm lifting up and checking every time I'm pushing down and swooping out. Okay. Don't worry about that right there because that's got bone, a little bit of meat. I mean, you could probably probably could get away with taking a little catfish nugget out of there you want to get crazy about it so we can squeeze out a little other other now that's it right there okay there's a belly that's a flat hip belly once again play side gonna drop it down to the skin it's gonna curve I'm lead, I'm riding up high on this so it looks like that this is a lot of fat a lot of tissue, a lot of connective stuff in there. I'm going to get the other side. Ride up just a little bit high. Put a little low there. But you'll see what I mean, man, when you're looking at fat. Now we got to trim off the keel. It's, called, it's jagged up a little bit. I'm sorry, but hey, they're going to strip them down and fillet them anyway. You can look and see, man, when I ride high. Bunch of fat, bunch of oil, a lot of red meat. Bad stuff. Okay, so what we got here, let's break this out real quick. Okay, I'll give you this overall here. Okay, a little bit of blood. Break this down for you real quick. All right, and this one with that down there. But. All right, so what we got from a flathead, starting from the front of the fish's head, cheek meat. I mean, you know, I mean, a good size cheek meat, right? So cheek meat, that would be the left side of the fish, left side of fillet, front end of the fillet, back end of the fillet, right side of the fish fillet, front end, back end. Right side of the fish, belly, left side of the fish, belly. And this was also a little bit of a nugget from the belly, but that's overall trimming and cleaning a flathead. 
thank you for tuning in to uh, Lazy Pond Farm Fish and Hunt. I hope this information was good enough for you to understand how to clean flatheads. I can bring another video to you later on down the road, a little bit different style if this was a little bit more difficult, okay? But uh, I really appreciate y'all, man. Y'all keep watching the channels. Please subscribe. Check us out. Give us some love. We love you guys watching. So, you know, this is why we do it. Thank you. All right.